Good evening. This is Chuck Kenyon. Uh, this is my voice narrated lecture assignment for learning module two, uh, the purposeful technology in physical education. Uh, question number one, what does the use of technology look like in your specific professional setting? In my setting, it's hard to speak about the physical, educa physical education classroom uh, due to the fact that we have been virtual ever since I changed schools. Um, I will tell you that we do a weekly heart rate. Uh, we do a weekly heart rate log before and after we run uh, two times a week. So the, the students are supposed to take their heart rate before they run and then immediately after they run. And then they submit that to me at the end of the end of the week as their fitness log. So we do that type of technology from, from that standpoint. Uh, some of the students have an Apple Watch or other wrist technology to, to get an accurate reading. And others have to do it the old fashioned style. They have to sit there and count their pulse and then multiply it by, by 10 to get to the 60. Um, they take it for six seconds and then they multiply it by 10 to get to their 60, uh, 60 second, which is the, the beats per minute mark. Um, on the sports side, uh, we use Huddle as an application, and we also use the Band app for communication. Um, and those two, those two things really work hand in hand with each other. Um, <clears throat> we communicate through the Band app, and and we we communicate the weekly schedules. So when we're supposed to report to practice, and when practice is going to be over, and then also any other pertinent information we get, uh, and we push out on the Band app. Um, now we use Huddle for practice and game film. Um, we use uh, Huddle also for scouting the opponent's film, and we also use Huddle for data breakdown, such as the down and distance of our opponent, um, the field zone, which is how often they throw to a certain level on the field, and then also formations that they run, a hit chart, which is where they run their run plays. Do they run it to the A gap, the B gap, or the C gap, and then how often they run it then, and then on what downs they run it then. Um, and then uh, also uh, they, there's a few other important aspects of data that we get and generate from the Huddle app. Um, so we use this, all of this knowledge is used uh, to assist us when we make decisions about the upcoming opponent. Um, so on a weekly basis, I spend as much time on the computer and using technology and watching film and looking at data as I do on the practice field with the athletes themselves. Number two, out of the technologies introduced and with your particular background, experience or less experience with technology, which one of the discussed technologies would you consider implementing in your professional setting? <clears throat> I think one aspect that I would consider implementing would have to be the, 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 the Plagnets one. Um, so in a sense, I guess I would use the, 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 the Plickers cards as well. Um, I really like the flexibility that they used um, the, the Plagnets for. Um, not only can they help with classroom management, but also for assessments. Um, instead of the instead of the fist to five or other monitoring activity, you can simply use the plagnets, plagnets. I'm sorry to assist where the class is on a particular lesson. Uh, if you if you put the areas on the board like the video showed, I thought that was very impressive. That you you have four different aspects. Um, you're you're strong in an area. You're kind of kind of strong in an area, you're not sure about an area, and you're totally lost about an area, and you put the plagnet right there. I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, uh, this, this will give you the ability to have a quick visual of what needs to be covered again, or if you can move on in a lesson. Um, we can also implement uh, the, the plagnets into our, our sports teams as well. Um, we can adjust our workout groups and color code them to make sure that everyone knows uh, uh, where to go and where to start as far as their, their lifting is concerned. Um, we can also uh, use the color codes and, and have them in groups of four with the athletes being a distinctive color. We can place the color on a particular exercise and have them rotate from one exercise to another exercise without having to yell or scream out the instructions. Also, in the current state that we are in with the pandemic, we could go one step further and when we travel or do travel, we can assign travel spots on the bus to ensure social distancing by having the blue section sit in one area, for example, and then the green sit sitting in another area, for another example. 
So I, I think that those those two areas, I think that I think the plagnets are are something that I might dive into down the road. Identify and share one strategy to raise money for the use of technology in your in your physical education program. Well, as always, I would start by going to the administration. Uh, you as a teacher never know how many folks come out of the woodwork to donate money um, to help teachers. Because we don't know, and that's where we should start, I think the admin is the best route first. Um, if the admin cannot help us, then uh, we might be able to, they might be able to point us into the right direction as to, hey, this person came and talked to me about a situation, so why don't you go and, and talk to them? They may be able to help you. So even though they may not have money at their disposal, they may know of an avenue that, can, that can, they can lead us into. Um, and then also, uh, in the past, I have been um, in departments where we had to write applications for small grants. Uh, sometimes we would receive money and sometimes we wouldn't. Uh, it's just a hit or miss on those types of things. But you, you put your best foot forward and your, and your good effort to try to, uh, try to accent the monies needed so that in the end, the students are the ones that are going to benefit from the technologies, uh, the technology initiatives that we receive. So um, long story short, those are my three answers for, uh, for, for purposeful technology in the physical education area. Uh, thank you for your time.